In this video, we're starting off with the chapter trigonometry by looking at the theory and terminology that you will need. The word trigonometry means triangle measurements. That means we are going to focus on the three angles and the three sides of a triangle. And then even more specific, we're going to focus on a 90 degree or right angled triangle. When naming the angles in a triangle, we use capital letters, and for the sides, we have two different methods. If we want to name the hypotenuse of this triangle, we can use the capital letters and say that this is side AB. But we can also focus on the angle that is right across from this side and use its lowercase letter. We can call this small s. Side SB is right across from angle A and can therefore also be lowercase a. And side AS is right across angle B, so this is lowercase b. From previous knowledge about right angle triangles, you know that the theorem of Pythagoras is true for these triangles. Therefore, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides' squares. In trigonometry, we focus on the ratio between these sides. So I'm reminding you that a ratio is a comparison between two measurements. So in our triangle's case, that can be the ratio between side S and side A, or side S and side B, or side A and side B. When you have similar triangles, it means that the corresponding angles of those triangles are exactly the same size. And in grade 9 you saw that those triangles' sides will be in the same ratio. Here we have two similar triangles because their angles are exactly the same size. And the black triangle's sides have been doubled to form the blue triangle. We can now add another similar triangle and here we can see that the black triangle sides have been multiplied with 3 to get the orange one. And this can be repeated to form even more similar triangles. The most important thing to remember here is that the ratio of the side lengths stay the same as long as the angle stays constant. Now we're going to continue focusing on these ratios, but for that we need new terminology. In trigonometry, everything is determined by the angle that you are working from. So it is determined by your perspective. Let's say that we are working from angle A. We already know that side AB is called the hypotenuse, which we can shorten with an H. The hypotenuse is the side directly across from the 90 degree angle, and this is also always the longest of the three sides. In trigonometry, we often make use of the Greek alphabet to name angles. So let's call the angle at A theta. If we now focus on side AS, the side that is touching angle theta, this will be called the adjacent side. If we lastly focus on side SB, you will see that this is the side that is directly across from our angle theta and that is called the opposite side. I'm going to use an A for adjacent and O for opposite as abbreviations. As I've already mentioned, the ratios of these side lengths will always stay the same as long as the angle sizes stay constant. With these three pairs of sides, we can make three combinations of ratios. Firstly, we can compare the opposite side to the hypotenuse. And we can also compare the adjacent side length with the hypotenuse. And our last possible combination of ratios is the opposite and adjacent sides. Each one of these ratio combinations has been given a name. That name is linked to the angle from which we are working. The first ratio of opposite over hypotenuse is called the sinus ratio or sine theta. The adjacent over hypotenuse ratio 
is called the cosine ratio or cos theta. And the opposite over adjacent ratio is called the tangent or short tan theta ratio. As long as the angle stays constant, these simplified ratios will always stay constant for any sized triangle. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how we determine these ratios for specific triangles.